Hi, I'm Jane Farnham, TV presenter and interior designer. I'm working with Terry's Fabrics to help you get the best out of your home improvements. In this series of short videos, we aim to take the issues our customers tell us that they're having with decorating and DIY and provide easy to follow, helpful solutions. There are generally two types of bay window. A bay window where the coving line follows the shape of the skirting board, known as a full height bay, and a bay window where the top of the window is straight across, with wall space above the recess line, known as a recessed bay. Let's look at how to dress a recessed bay. With this type of bay, there is usable straight wall space between the top of the window recess and the coving line. This offers a number of different options in comparison to a full height bay and whilst it can be treated very simply and functionally with just blinds inside the recesses as illustrated here, it is not normally dressed in such a way because of the potential that the available wall space offers for variety and creativity. Here a full pole has been used to span the top of the window and a pair of dress curtains on a simple eyelet heading hang in lovely slim columns at either side of the window. Dress curtains have been used rather than full working curtains as it is not normally desirable to close curtains across the front of this kind of bay as the floor space inside the bay is lost when the curtains are closed. Function and privacy are therefore provided by the Venetian blinds fitted inside the bay. Here the same approach has been adopted but the curtains hang from part poles which have been used as a feature to emphasise the fact that the curtains are for dress purposes only and are not meant to close. In this example again the curtains are fitted on part poles but on a gathered heading this time and are drawn back from the window with tie backs. The bay itself has been treated with working roller blinds fitted to the individual windows. And that look has been further adapted with the addition of a pelmet. Pelmets often give a more expansive look to a window and are a good way of making narrower windows look wider. Simple straight ones as seen here are stylish and contemporary. But if you wish to embellish the look a little more, shaped pelmets can add character and interest or be used to empathise with a particular design period or style of decor. And provided there is sufficient wall space above the window to accommodate a decent depth, your options are fairly unlimited. Here are a few shape suggestions. This is an excellent example of an individual shield palmet. This provides an excellent way of adding additional colour into the scheme, as two different fabrics are required to achieve the contrast between the shields. Swags and tails offer the same opportunity to add some contrast colour into the window dressing and will work well across a recessed bay if there is sufficient height above the window to accommodate them. Swags are usually never any shallower than 16 inches at their lowest point or deeper than 26 so if you have the wall space above you can create an impression and elegant window dressing that will make quite a statement in your room. Well, I hope you found this video useful. There are more guides and lots more information on the Terry's Fabrics website. And if you're looking for inspiration, try clicking on the On Trends section where you'll find lots of useful tips and advice from seasonal fashions to useful products.